in order to send AT commands to your modem that is connected to your router. This being the router, something like this being your modem, so one of those things, right? Um, just to give you guys some context, I just did a fresh flash of OpenWRT on uh, this B1300 uh, from GLINet. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. If not, oh well. Right? Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and log in to the router right? with a fresh install. There's no password, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, if it lets me log in, we'll see what happens. If not, oh well. Try one more time. And then... I'll reopen up the browser and see if that fixes it. Here we go. There we go. <clears throat> User error, right? Alright, so with this new compile that I made for uh, OpenWRT, it is in my Google Drive. That link will be down in the description. Um, I have it set up uh, essentially with everything minus the interfaces, right? Um, so, since I don't have modem manager set up with a modem, I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, the modem to the router or the enclosure to the router via the USB 3.0 port. And now I'm going to add that interface. Uh, do that by adding interface and then I got to select the protocol which I'm going to use modem manager. You can name it whatever you want but I usually name it LTE or something along those lines. Uh, create this interface. Once it does that um, you should get the modem here uh, but uh, the router may have not picked it up all the way so once you plug it in give it a second or two allow it to kind of see the router you can see here this is where you'll put the APN in uh, I'm just gonna wait adding the, this interface to the WAN firewall uh, zone go back and see if it picked it up if not just uh, dismiss it come back down here and go edit and so, as you can see it picked up that that modem right I just didn't give it long enough for the router to find it so we'll go broadband advanced nothing there we'll add it to uh, the WAN firewall we'll hit save right okay and then once we do that we need to do save and apply for it to find itself and then boom we're in business right I can already see that we have a transmit and receive uh, happening, but nothing on the receive side. So let me see, request something from, let's say, uh, speedtest.net. I got internet. It, it, Motor Manager is really way faster than anything else out there that I've seen or used uh, in order to manage the modem as far as connection rate. Uh, you guys can see that where I'm at I don't have a very good uh, ping rate and that's what it is here where I'm at pretty awful right thank goodness I got broadband luckily alright so I'm gonna go ahead and close out that speed test uh, I have even I'm gonna go ahead and go over the firewall real quick uh, in custom firewall rules I have even added uh, the TTTR, sorry, the TTL adjustments uh, for uh, both a, a USB uh, zero interface. So if you want to tether your cell phone, you'll just have to make another interface uh, using DHCP as the protocol and select your cell phone, which will be a USB zero. And uh, same thing, add it to those WAN uh, firewall rules or zone in order for it to connect and use uh, the internet that way. Um, <clears throat> what else? Real quick before we go into actually the AT commands. 
All right. Uh, nothing there. You can also go to status and then system log. You come down in here and actually see the where the modem connected. And where is that at? There's modem manager right there. And as you can see, this is where it goes through uh, and actually starts the connection process. Uh, you can see that this uh, modem is set to QMI. Uh, I could also set it to uh, MBIM uh, via these AT commands. All right, so really important thing here. Uh, in order to be able to send AT commands to this modem, I got to have uh, a PuTTY. And PuTTY is what we're going to use to SSH into the router, right? A SOCAT because it's a lot easier. Um, so, and then we'll hit open, right? It'll provide us the login for the router. Uh, it should be root, and I didn't set any passwords, so uh, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, it'll just come right here to the login. If you want to clear all this out, just type in clear, it kind of starts over from scratch, right? So, what we need to determine before. Uh, we utilize SOCAT is what USB interface is our router on or sorry our modem um, so we'll go uh, uh, DMSG or MESG uh, this little line thing here under underneath the backspace on your keyboard sorry I'm keyboard illiterate I don't know what that's called uh, I guess I could look it up but I ain't going to uh, uh, G R E P and I'll put these commands in the description USB hit enter and as you can see down here at the bottom um, our modem interface is on uh, USB 0 1 and 2 uh, we'll try 2 uh, yeah, I like to start at the highest one and go down I'll go ahead and type in clear uh, right now and your command to access the modem to send AT commands will be so cat and if you're getting um, the snapshot off of OpenWRT, more than likely it won't have this in here, so you'll need internet to be able to install it on your router already. And though, as far as I know, the snapshots don't even have modem manager, so uh, at that point you would not uh, uh, be able to essentially send commands to the modem uh, without at least having SOCAT, Minicom, uh, you could do echo commands, but you won't see them. And lots of people like to see the returns, so we'll go a uh, SOCAT, uh, uh, our device, right? Uh, TTY, US, and USB needs to be all capitals. And like I said, I'll put this in the command. We'll do a comma, CRNL, right? Uh, that should do it, and we're there. If I'll test it by sending ATI, hit enter, see what I get. If it don't work, I'll try one of the other ports. Mm -hmm. I'll try AT and hit enter. And I'm not getting anything, right? So um, Control Z, I think it is, brings us out of that. And maybe there was something I did not type properly. So I'm going to pause it real quick, go check. Okay back to this I had the right command I'm gonna hit clear or sorry control Z to get out and then clear all right same command I'm just hitting the up arrow hitting enter okay AT I got a okay ATI uh, there we go must have hit an L somehow that's our ATI enter and uh, there you can see you can see my IMEI uh, for this uh, my modem but at this point you can essentially send whatever AT commands you want uh, AT exclamation G status right question mark there you go there's all your LTE information right um, so at this point if you needed to do 
something with regard to this uh, modem, like band locking or uh, any other little thing that you need to do. Um, you know, at this point, this is where you could take care of it. I could also uh, reset this modem from here if I needed to, or uh, now this modem will reset. Um, it's from first time doing this. Uh, see if it gives me any kind of error or anything like that. Kickback from the modem. I doubt it will, but you know, hey, I could totally be wrong. Uh, now I want to just go back to uh, or get out of SoCat. It automatically kicked me out. I didn't type in any command as that modem reset itself. All right, I can also go up arrow, right? Take you back to those previous commands as this modem comes back online to make sure uh, that there, it didn't uh, assign it a different interface. Uh, I doubt it will. It's usually USB zero through two. Um, this obviously you guys seen that this modem's a uh, what is it? EM seventy four fifty five uh, from Sierra Wireless. I'll go ahead and hit enter, and as you can see, it's back up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear it out. Uh, and that's basically it on how to send AT commands uh, to the modem using SOCAT, right? And uh, my build or compile of OpenWRT. Uh, but if you didn't want to use mine, you can go ahead and uh, download that snapshot for whatever router you got. Uh, make sure you have internet, uh, do a, a package update, and then go ahead and download uh, Modem Manager, uh, the Lucy uh, uh, Proto. Uh, for a modem manager as well and then SOCAT, Minicom or you can also send AT commands through modem manager but you have to put the mo for me it's harder you have to put the modem in a uh, in a debugging state essentially right or modem manager into debugging and then be able to send AT commands I just like SOCAT it's a way easier uh, literally a few commands here and you're up and running and you're ready to go that's all I got I'm gonna try to piecemeal this video uh, together I'm gonna leave links in the description for everything um, also uh, I may or may not put some uh, extra things in my Google Drive uh, for you to access in the event that you know you need uh, some magic for your uh, modem in order to get it to operate properly um, in the event uh, in any event uh, if you got a special request or you got a router that you'd like me to try uh, right now I have about four different uh, models of router here with me and it's all gonna basically work the exact same no difference uh, because I use vanilla open WRT it's just a different compile for that router uh, outside of that, the interface is going to be the same. The way I access it is going to be the same. I'm including all this stuff in the pat or in my compile for OpenWRT. Or OpenWRT, I'm going to try and do uh, monthly compiles, right? So that way uh, the packages stay up to date. But if not, you can just go in and uh, via the web interface and update things, right? As long as the you know there's not a kernel mismatch. Uh, but anyways, if you guys got any questions, drop me a line in the comments. Um, you know, I'm not here to, uh, you know, get big on YouTube. I just kind of want to uh, spread a little bit more information. And then also at the same time, maybe do some tutorials or whatnot as the channel grows. Uh, also, please, uh, you know, check out my store, uh, both on eBay and on, on the web uh, at www.arcadiantechnologies.net. And then also, um, we got a store on eBay as well. I'll leave the link in, in the description for that as well. Uh, but anyways, you guys have a good one. And if, uh, like I said, you got any more requests, please let me know.